first off, I want to start with some basic information. You all have probably seen me testing the body armor with 9x19mm. Uh, this is what happened to the bolts. You probably have seen that in the previous videos. Um, I have some unpublished results with a 7.62x25mm uh, Tokar around Yugoslav surplus. And they look really nasty after they have been recovered. So they suffered even more damage than the 9mm. Pretty mushroom, pretty much the jacket separated from the lead core. Uh, and uh, the test you have seen on the video uh, was conducted with a 7.62 by 39 millimeter uh, round, a full metal jacket, 124 grain, 123, I don't know. Uh, also, Yugoslav surplus. As you can see, it's manufactured in uh, 1984. So, it's very 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 powerful round, definitely powerful than both of these already tested. What happened to those rounds is that they turned to basically powder out of uh, two bullets. These, this is what's left. If you compare a nine millimeter, they this one looks pretty much intact except for the side. If you compare a 7.62 by 25, they look still better than this one, but much worse than this. Um, the plates were constructed from ceramic, right here, uh, uh, from fiberglass, uh, and from sheet metal, which I don't have here because it was almost totally destroyed, and from this high density rubber, which uh, I used as a spall liner to catch most of the fragments. You can see the holes here. So. So uh, the fiberglass was up, up the front like this. Then you had the rubber on the front. So you can see the fiberglass has two holes, basically the two hits. The elimination didn't occur here, just slight delamination. Uh, as you can see, it burnt a lot of fiber. So the order of placement was first this fiberglass plate. Then we had the ceramic, a very tough ceramic. Actually, I think this is pure granite. Uh, basically it turned the bullet into powder as I said and as you can see here there is about one and a half inch of spacing between the shots and that those areas with a radius of two inches were totally compromised but if you hit anywhere else on the plate you can see that there's pretty much still enough ceramics to stop at least one or two bullets uh, the AK bullets I mean uh, then ceramic was on this, as you can see, the imprint of the ceramic. Uh, the force of the bullet basically blew out the fiberglass. You can see much of the delamination happened at the back because the fragments didn't have much velocity. Uh, and on the back of that, I had some sheet metal glued to it. Basically, it was blown apart, which I'm going to replace most likely in the next plate. I'm going to use more fiberglass uh, instead of some sheet metal. It will dramatically uh, decrease weight and gonna increase the stopping power. Uh, this was a place uh, where the sheet metal blew off. As you can see, it made a hole. It some, tore some of this fabric, which was made to um, so capture the fragment something. But you can, as you can see, there's no hole made by this. These two holes were made by nine millimeter steel jacketed and standard full metal jacket. This is basically a soft armor panel I was testing. There turn out so well this is from another test which is 7.92 Mauser which you will see in another video uh, so basically the plate proven itself to be very very efficient so far I stopped 9 millimeter 7.62 by 25 and 7.62 by 39 I guess that it will also stop a 5.56 and maybe some 308 soft point but definitely gonna need to increase some the layers to stop that 308 uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.